Coinbase is the largest and most popular cryptocurrency exchange for beginners in the world. And many people don't know that you can actually make money with Coinbase right now. But there's a problem because when you look up most content on this subject, they'll tell you to watch those little videos where you get paid like $1 for a 30 minute video. And that ends up being $2 an hour, which is below minimum wage. So it's basically a waste of time when it comes to the money aspect. Now you can still do that if you want to learn and get a little bit of extra money on the side. And we will be talking about that, but there are much better ways. Now I've been using Coinbase for around five years and I have bought and sold hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of cryptocurrency. So whether you are an experienced cryptocurrency trader or a complete beginner, you are going to learn everything you need to know about Coinbase in this video. And then another thing I want to mention is I do have a free gift later on in the video. It took me a while to compile. Um, it's not something you have to enter your email address in for anything like that. It's actually free, right? So I'm not selling you anything here. It's actually a free gift. And it will be later on in the video, so stay tuned for that because you don't want to miss it. Also, in order to demonstrate how to make money on Coinbase, I am going to be buying $10,000 worth of cryptocurrency later on in this video. So you also don't want to miss that demonstration because I'll be buying it and then I will be showing you how to make money with it. So I'm not going to be just talking about these methods. I'm going to be doing them live for you. And also timestamps will be down below in the description so you can jump around in the video if you'd like. But I recommend that you actually watch the whole video if you want to know everything about Coinbase. All right, so let's jump right into it. Now, one thing that I get asked all the time is, Shane, you know, this bull market's been going on for a long time. Is it too late to buy cryptocurrency? Did I miss the boat? Now, this question is always really funny to people who've been in the cryptocurrency community for a while because we've been hearing this question since basically the beginning of Bitcoin. So I'll tell you a funny short story. Back in 2012, I was living in Lawrence, Kansas, going to the University of Kansas in a scholarship hall that had about 50 guys in it. And one of my neighbors across the hall was an engineer, really smart guy. And he kept on talking about this weird internet digital currency called Bitcoin. He kept on talking about how he was going to mine it on his computer. And he would joke around about setting up a bunch of Raspberry Pis, which are basically mini computers in order to mine it passively. And he was really into it. But most people on the floor were honestly really tired of hearing about it. So almost out of pity, I would listen to him talk about it. And eventually he tried to convince me to buy it. And I almost did. In fact, I had made the choice that I was going to buy it, but for one reason or another, I just never got around to doing it. And all of a sudden, the price of Bitcoin went from around $1 all the way up to $100. And I didn't buy in, of course, but then it kept going. Now, around this time, my friend kind of freaked out, sold the Bitcoin that he owned, and he ended up making several thousand dollars, which was a lot for a college kid. And I didn't buy any because I thought I missed the boat. Now, Bitcoin recently hit an all-time high of over $70,000. So since then, it's gone up over 700X. So if I would have just decided to buy, even though it was at the peak at that point, I would have still gotten a 700x return. Then 2016 came along, and at this time I was going to pharmacy school in order to become a pharmacist, which I ended up becoming, in Las Vegas. And I was friends with this guy in the class above me who actually had a computer science degree. He was a really smart guy. I have no idea to this day why he decided to go to pharmacy school after getting a computer science degree. But anyways, he would constantly talk about this weird cryptocurrency that came after Bitcoin called Ethereum. And at the time, I think it was hovering around $1 to $3 or so and one day we were both studying we were kind of like on this really long desk in this room it was almost like a lunch table we were both laying upside down on the desk and we were just staring at the ceiling and we were kind of like quizzing each other and then all of a sudden he tells me that he put basically his whole life savings into ethereum and I was a little bit shocked at that point, but then he casually recommended that I also do the same thing. And the way he did it was really dry and matter of fact, and it seemed like he knew something that I didn't. It was almost like a big brother trying to give his little bro some brotherly advice. It was almost like he could tell the future and he wanted me to avoid making a mistake. But for some reason, I thought he was going a little bit crazy. I mean, after all, this guy is kind of a loose cannon. Why would he get a computer science degree and then totally change things up and go to pharmacy school? You know, he's kind of a weird guy. I kind of thought of him as somebody who's really entertaining, cool, eccentric, but they also change their mind all the time. So again, just for fun, I decided I'm going to buy some Ethereum at some point, but then I delayed it. I delayed it. And all of a sudden, Ethereum started shooting up and it ended up going over $300. So it basically did another 100x. So again, I thought I had missed the boat and I didn't buy any. <sighs> 
Now that friend probably has over $10 million from all of his cryptocurrency investments at this point. And the next year he dropped out of pharmacy school. And it wasn't because he couldn't do it. The guy's super smart, but it was honestly just because he didn't need to get a degree anymore. Now, later on, after recovering from the trauma of missing out on securing the bag twice, and after Ethereum dropped to around $150 or so, I did finally decide to purchase some. But of course, it wasn't as profitable as it was before, but to be fair, it has gone up well over 10x since then. Now, of course, I don't give any financial advice on this channel. You should always do your own research. But when people ask me the question, is it too late to buy cryptocurrency? Of course, because of my experiences, the answer is no, no. Cryptocurrency is a life-changing technology and the same pattern is going to repeat itself over and over again. We've recently seen another really cool coin called Solana. It went all the way from like $2 to well over $200 at some point this year. So there was another 100X. And I think the easiest way to get started buying cryptocurrency is on Coinbase. It is, in my opinion, the most beginner-friendly cryptocurrency exchange. It was founded in 2012, operates in well over 100 countries, and it's available in 40 different states in the US. But the question is, why should you use Coinbase over a different exchange? Well, first of all, it's very easy to use. We're talking ridiculously easy. Just about anybody can sign up for a Coinbase account and buy cryptocurrency without having to know all that much. I have signed up to probably 10 to 15 other different cryptocurrency exchanges, and many of them are much, much more complicated than Coinbase. And then the second thing, it's also very beginner friendly and ergonomic. The design is very sleek. It's super easy to get around. It's easy to figure out what you want to do. If you remember that old Geico commercial where it's like so easy a caveman can do it, that applies to Coinbase. It truly is incredibly easy to use. Coinbase is also incredibly trustworthy. They've had very few issues when it comes to hacking. They haven't had any huge hacks. The few issues that they've had, they've been able to resolve it successfully and make sure that all of their customers were taken care of. And then another thing, and this can be a pro or a con, but I think when you're a beginner, this is probably a pro, is they are relatively regulation friendly. And what I mean by that is there's some exchanges that weren't regulation friendly. And so me and a bunch of other Americans had to scramble to get all of our money off of those exchanges because the exchanges were no longer serving US customers. So that's probably not something you're going to have to worry about. Coinbase is extremely regulation friendly for the United States market. It is a US company as well. All right, guys, so we are now going to jump into one of my Coinbase accounts. So I'm going to switch to the computer. All right, so as you see, this is one of my Coinbase accounts. Um, you can kind of look at the portfolio here. You can do one hour, one day, one week, one month, one year. And then all time, I've had this one since it looks like July of 2017. And I usually don't have that much on Coinbase. I'll usually just buy it here and then I'll transfer it somewhere else. So you can see like I made a few purchases here and there, made this purchase and then I think I just left it on there for a while, made a big purchase around this time and then I transferred it somewhere else. And then I kind of just left it on there and kind of let it grow. And there are a few times here that I transferred it out. And then I recently made some purchases for videos that I'm making. So as you can see here, very easy to use. Um, if you scroll down a little bit, you kind of see that there's a watch list down here. So you can mark certain cryptocurrency that you want to have on your watch list. Now, when it comes to creating a Coinbase account, it is relatively easy. I have made accounts on like 10 to 15 different exchanges. And Coinbase is without a doubt one of the smoothest experiences. So what you want to do in order to create a Coinbase account is you want to go to the Coinbase official website, www.coinbase.com. Don't go anywhere else. And then you just click sign up. You're going to enter your information in here. And also, guys, if you click my link down in the description, you'll get $10 in free Bitcoin on Coinbase. But you can also just go to Google and type it in. I'm not trying to get you to click my link. If you want to, I do appreciate it. But at this point, you would go to continue. And now you have to verify your email address. So it's going to send a verification link to your email. And then you have to click that link. Now, this is as far as I'm going to go because I've already created like three Coinbase accounts and I don't want to create another one. But basically what you do at this point is you're going to verify your email. Then you're going to verify your phone number. And then if you are living in the United States at this point, it is going to ask you for a lot of personal information. All right, so KYC stands for know your customer. And this is basically where the company has to verify certain information about you to make sure that you are a real person. So basically they have to verify the legitimacy of the customer. 
And this is required by law, unfortunately. A lot of people don't like it, but you will have to give quite a bit of information. So for instance, sometimes they will make you take a picture of your ID. They'll have you put it up to your face, like holding the ID right next to your face. And then they may have you take a picture of the ID itself up close as well. Now it shouldn't take too long, maybe 30 minutes or so. And after you do that, they're going to review that information and they're going to tell you whether they accept you for an account or not. And of course, they very likely will accept you. So the next section, we're gonna be talking about what cryptocurrency is actually accepted on Coinbase. Now you're probably pretty pumped now that you have the power to invest and pretty soon you're gonna be making the big money. I gotta pay some bills, pay some debts. I gotta go talk to the tax folk. Now in terms of which cryptocurrency you can currently invest in, Coinbase does have a pretty decent selection. However, there are other exchanges that have way more cryptocurrencies. Some of them have thousands and thousands of different ones that you can possibly buy. Coinbase is incredibly picky about which cryptocurrencies they allow on their exchange. If they have even the faintest idea that the cryptocurrency is a scam or they don't like something about the company, they're not going to allow it on. And so, like I said before, this is a very beginner friendly exchange. It's also safe compared to a lot of the other ones, but there are some downsides to that as well. Now, in terms of which ones are actually available you can look right here i'm going to go ahead and just kind of scroll down you can pause the video if you'd like definitely have some good selections here so definitely some good options there i'd say most beginners start off by buying maybe some bitcoin or ethereum so i would suggest maybe looking into one of those two those two are relatively stable they're probably staying around for a long time and when the market drops which it will inevitably drop at some point they're probably not going to take as much of a hit as a lot of the other altcoins now, when it comes to how to earn money with Coinbase, first, we're gonna go over what all of the articles talk about when you look this up on Google or YouTube, and that is the Learn to Earn platform, right? So you click here, and if you watch a bunch of these videos, you can make up to $16 for free. So over on the right, you can click right there. So you can watch this video, it's one minute, you can make $1. Some of the videos actually take a little bit longer than that. For AMP, you can watch three different videos and earn $1. For Stellar Lumens, it looks like there's like uh, five different videos you can watch and you can earn up to $10. So to be fair, it looks like they are offering some pretty good ones. Um, it is a little bit more than $2 per hour. Um, but even if you took all of these, that would be like what? Probably around $16 or so. So if you want to, you can just to learn about these. And I mean, $16, that's not too bad. You add that on top of the $10 in free Bitcoin that you get for using my link down in the description below. And that's $26 right off the bat. And maybe when you look back a week or two from now, there might be a few other ones that you can take as well. Now you might be thinking, Shane, that's cool, but I wanna make more than just a few bucks a day. Well, the second option on the list is going to be automated rewards. And one example of this is holding DAI. And all you have to do is just simply hold DAI in your Coinbase account and you will get 2% annual yield. Now DAI or MakerDAO is what's known as a stable coin, meaning one DAI equals one US dollar. So if for whatever reason you think the market is going to go down, what you can do is you can just transfer all of your money into DAI and you will get a 2% annual return on that. And that's better than the interest rates that like 99.9% .9 of bank accounts out there will give you. So if you had $10,000 in Coinbase and DAI, you would get about $200 free every single year from the yield. Now that's pretty good, but the next one on the list is actually quite a bit better, and that is going to be staking. And one of the better cryptocurrencies that you can stake on Coinbase is going to be Cosmos, which gives you about a 5% APY. Now, one thing I wanna be very clear on here is with some of the cryptocurrencies, you automatically earn money just by holding it in your account. Cosmos is one of those examples. So you can just earn money staking by having it. You don't have to turn the staking mechanism on. With other cryptocurrencies, you do have to turn it on, and I will show you how to do that later on in this video. Now this is far better than the 2% you would get with the DAI, but it's also a little more risky because you could buy Cosmos at like $28 right now, and maybe a month from now it goes down to $20. Maybe a year from now it goes down to $14. Whereas if you bought the DAI, it's always going to be exactly how much you bought it for. Now, another way that you can make money from Coinbase, this is number four, is you can refer your friends to Coinbase. And if they sign up and they deposit $100, you will get $10 in free Bitcoin. And again, going to the computer really quickly, it is ridiculously easy to do this. All you have to do is invite friends. 
and they have these different promotions you can opt into so you basically click on this you see how to enter and you can get paid even more than the ten dollars in bitcoin and right here you know it automatically creates a referral link for you so you just you know copy this and then you would send it to your friends and if they use that referral link in order to buy through coinbase you should get around ten dollars in bitcoin now all of these are good and all but there's two big problems the first is there are better options for staking than coinbase there are many options out there where you can get over 10 percent apy whereas coinbase the best you can get is around five percent so most people don't keep their money on coinbase in order to stake it and then the second problem is if you wanted to make like let's say a hundred dollars a day on coinbase you would have to have a ton of money or you'd have to be sending out a ridiculous amount of invites so all of these are great They're good options but in order to make a hundred dollars a day on coinbase the best way to do that is to invest and if you wanted to stick with coinbase what you would do is you would buy the cryptocurrency that you've done your due diligence on when it comes to studying it and making sure it's a good investment and then you would stake that cryptocurrency on coinbase depending on which one it is you'd probably get somewhere between two to five percent and that's much better than 99.9 percent .9 of banks offer now when it comes to investing you know this is not financial advice but i do have a few common sense rules that I feel like I have to tell you, especially if you are a beginner watching this video, thinking about investing in cryptocurrency for the first time. First of all, number one, diversify your portfolio. Don't go all in on one coin at one time. Second, keep a significant amount of your coins in more of the common cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin or Ethereum. Number three, do your due diligence and research before you invest in cryptocurrency. Number four, it's a good idea to dollar cost average. So instead of trying to time the market, figure out when the market's up or when the market's down, you can just invest, let's say $100 every single month. And it's really complicated to explain why this is the best way to do it, but basically it takes out a significant amount of the risk. If you know that overall the market is gonna go up over time, dollar cost averaging is probably Probably the best way to invest because you could invest a thousand dollars at the top of the market and that goes all the way down to 300 or if you just decided to invest a hundred dollars at that time and then it went down then you would invest a hundred dollars the next month and it would start gaining and then a hundred dollars the next month and a hundred dollars etc and at the end of 10 months you would have invested the same amount but the dollar cost averaging strategy would have a lot better returns number five on the list is I recommend investing for the long term only invest in cryptocurrencies and projects that you really believe in there's a lot of stuff going around about these coins that you know are pretty much worthless they don't have any function and people just go crazy over them and invest in them and it's a almost like one giant pump and dump scheme so I really recommend being very careful with that usually your best bet is to do your due diligence and find a bunch of cryptocurrencies and projects that you really believe in and then put a small amount in all of them and then number six is optional but sometimes it's a good idea to take profit on the way up so let's say that you invested in ethereum when it's a hundred dollars and it starts going up goes up to three hundred dollars and then up to six hundred dollars and then up to a thousand dollars eventually you know that it is going to go back down and so what a lot of people do is they start taking profits so they'll say you know what when ethereum gets to 500 i'm going to sell 20 percent and when it gets to 800 i'm going to sell another 20 percent and then when it gets to a thousand i'm going to sell another 20 percent and then when it gets to 1500 i'll sell another 20 percent and then all the way at at 2000 I'll sell my last 20 percent and depending on the exchange you're in sometimes you can actually just set this up automatically but that last one is optional because a lot of people just decide to hold for the long term and that's a really good strategy as well now you're probably pretty excited at this point because you've gotten a whiff of what's possible with cryptocurrency as well as coinbase Power, baby so now we're gonna go over exactly how to buy cryptocurrency on Coinbase with a live demonstration. And this is a demonstration I had to do several days ago because it does take a small amount of time for that money to actually go through. So in the next scene, you will see me several days ago. Hey guys, Shane from the past here, and I am going to be buying some cryptocurrency on Coinbase. So as you see, this is one of my accounts that uh, I've already used many times before. Um, and all you have to do is really just go up to the right here you go buy sell and this screen gives you a lot of different choices so for one you can do a one-time purchase you can also buy sell and convert of course we're going to be buying right now but if you click on the one-time purchase you can also do daily weekly 
monthly, first and 15th of the month, et cetera. So that's really nice if you wanna just dollar cost average your money into cryptocurrency. You could maybe set it to buy like $1,000 worth of crypto or $100 or $500 worth of crypto every month. Now below this, you can actually choose which cryptocurrency you want to buy. So if you click on this, you can see it's, you know, Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, all the really popular ones basically. And there's a bunch of other ones as well. They've been adding a ton of different ones on here. Um, I'll let you pause the video if you wanna see all of these. I'm gonna go through them really, really fast. You can also just check their website. This is all listed on there. But yeah, a lot of different options for you. Um, in today's video, I am planning on buying one in particular. Let's see how fast I can find it. I'll just use the search function. I am going to be buying Solana. So Solana is one of my favorite cryptocurrencies. It's one of my favorite investments, but I don't want to be biased or anything like that and get into that very much. But I am going to be spending $10,000 on Solana today. So I'm going to go ahead, $10,000, a uh, one-time purchase, buy with Solana. Um, so this part right here, you basically just have to hook your bank account or whatever you're using to pay for the cryptocurrency up to it. Most people would probably use a bank account. Um, and you know, you're gonna have to do your routing number, your account number. There's also several different options. You can do like an ACH transfer or a wire transfer, which tends to be faster. But I obviously already set that up. It does not take long at all, just a few minutes. And then you're gonna go ahead and click preview buy. Now again, it tries to kind of upsell you here and make this a weekly buy. Of course, you don't want to do that. So we're going to go down here and click buy now. All right, that didn't take hardly any time at all. And I successfully purchased a bunch of Solana. All right, so back to future Shane here. In this part of the video, we're going to go over how to stake your cryptocurrency on Coinbase. All right, so we are on the main Coinbase screen again here. So what you wanna do is go into the bottom right here and you want to click on earn interest. Now, in this particular case, um, I already have some Ethereum on Coinbase. So I'm gonna go ahead and click earn interest on the Ethereum. You scroll down a little bit and it's giving you about 4.5% APR. So you can go ahead and click stake now. Now at this point, it is going to give you a message talking about how much you're gonna earn, um, what the trade and transfer restrictions are, as well as the staking risks. So definitely read through these, very important. Um, you know, Pause the video if, if you need to. But uh, after you're done with that, you go ahead and click I understand. Now I'm not gonna be clicking this because I'm going to be using Ethereum in this video. I'm gonna be transferring it around. But after you did that, it pretty much would be automatically staking your ETH. In this part of the video, I'm gonna go over how to trade cryptocurrency on Coinbase. So we're back on the main screen here again, and what you wanna do is go to the top left and click trade. And at this point, I have plenty of Ethereum, but for some reason, I kinda want some Polkadot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and click convert here, going to click on the from, select my Ethereum, click on the two, and then I'm gonna go ahead and go to the top and type in polka dot, make sure it's the right one. And I'm gonna convert about $1,000 worth of my Ethereum into polka dot. Very, very easy. Um, if you've ever used other exchanges, you know exactly what I'm talking about. This is a super straightforward process compared to other exchanges. Um, but you're gonna go ahead and preview the convert, and then you are going to convert now. All right, so it says the order was submitted and they will send me an email whenever the order status updates. Usually doesn't take very long at all. In the next part of this video, I'm gonna go over how to sell your cryptocurrency on Coinbase. So we are on the home screen, the main tab here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to trade. We're gonna go to sell on the top right. I'm gonna pick some Ethereum. I'm gonna do $1,000 and I'm going to sell it for cash. And this is cash that will still be on Coinbase and it will be available for you to trade if you want to buy something later on. So I'm gonna click preview sell here. I am going to make sure everything is good and I'm going to sell now. And it is successfully sold. It was that easy, it just took a few seconds. 
Next, I'm going to go over how you can transfer your money off of Coinbase. Now, there are many different places you can transfer your money to. You can go to other exchanges. You can go to places that give better staking rewards. You can also transfer it to a wallet. So you could transfer it to what's known as a hot wallet, which is connected to the internet, or a cold wallet. So there are many different reasons why you would transfer your cryptocurrency onto another exchange. For one, you may want to take advantage of better staking rewards, or maybe there's another exchange that has cryptocurrency you're interested in that Coinbase doesn't currently list. So in this particular case, I'm going to be transferring some Ethereum to my MetaMask wallet. Now, MetaMask is a very common wallet that people have when they use the Ethereum blockchain. So from the homepage, what you would want to do is go to the top left, click on assets, and then you're gonna go ahead and click on the Ethereum. Then you wanna to go to wallet. And then over here, you see that it is already ready to be sent. So in this particular case, again, I'm going to do a thousand Ethereum. This is where you want to copy in the address of wherever you are sending your Ethereum. Now be very, very careful with this process. First of all, you wanna make sure that you get the right string of letters and numbers, and that's what it's gonna look like, a bunch of random letters and numbers. And then second of all, you want to make sure that not only is it the right string of letters and numbers, but on top of that, you want to make sure that you're sending it to an actual Ethereum wallet. Because if you send Ethereum to some random wallet like Solana or Bitcoin by accident, you may never be able to get it back. So I went ahead and I pasted my wallet address in there. I'm just gonna go ahead and put a note here, ETH1K demo. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click continue. It wants you to review all the important information and make sure that everything's right. And it looks pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and send now. And in this particular case, I have set up two factor authentication on my device. And so that's where I would enter it in. All right, awesome. So it is done. So like it says there, usually the transactions take less than 10 minutes. Next, we're gonna go over how to store your cryptocurrency. So this is one of those things where it's very similar to transferring it, but we're gonna pay a little bit more attention to safety. So many people honestly just end up storing their cryptocurrency on exchanges. Now you have two different types of exchanges. One of them is known as a centralized exchange. That is what Coinbase is. And then the other one is known as a decentralized exchange. Now there is a lot of debate about which ones are safer. And the truth is they are both very safe, but in different ways. So decentralized exchanges technically are basically impossible to hack. Whereas centralized exchanges can in rare cases get hacked. However, on a decentralized exchange, let's say you mess up and you send your cryptocurrency to the wrong place, you may not be able to get that much customer support. So basically when it comes to a lot of different decentralized options, you are on your own. If you mess up, you're gonna have to pay for it. Whereas with a centralized option like Coinbase, for instance, especially if it's a well-established one, if they get hacked, chances are you're gonna be able to get your money back it might take a while, but you'll probably get it back. But the truth is on a centralized exchange, you don't technically own your cryptocurrency. There is a saying, not your keys, not your crypto. And when you have your money on a centralized exchange, you do not own the keys to the cryptocurrency. The exchange does. Whereas when you have your money on a decentralized exchange, you do own the keys. And another thing about decentralized exchanges is they kind of take out all middlemen. So Coinbase takes a significant cut, which is why their staking rewards are lower. And it's also why their transfer fees are higher. So those are two options you can use to store your cryptocurrency. Different people have different preferences. And if you ask 100 people, you're probably gonna get like 50 different answers. You can also store your money on what's known as a wallet. Now, there are hot wallets and there are cold wallets. Hot wallets are wallets that are connected to the internet. This would be something like MetaMask. Now, I talked about MetaMask a little bit before. Great wallet, love it. But with that being said, it is still connected to the internet, so it's not as secure as a cold storage wallet. This right here is a ledger. It is what's known as a cold storage wallet. This particular one is a Ledger Nano S. It holds well over a thousand different types of cryptocurrency and it is incredibly secure. This is probably the safest way that you can possibly store your cryptocurrency. And I'll kind of go ahead and hold this up to the camera so you can see it. And here's what it looks like, kind of holding it up to the camera so that you can see it. Pretty cool. 
So yeah, this one's very secure. There are other security measures that you can use. You can set up a bunch of keywords and all that sort of thing. Um, you know, there are some dangers though in storing your cryptocurrency physically. It can get stolen. It can get burned up in a fire. Now you would be able to access it as long as you had that other information that I talked about. But if you're not careful, maybe that also got burned up in a fire. So that other information, you want to try to maybe store that in like a bank vault, something along those lines, maybe even store it in several different places. All right, guys, so you made it to the end of the video. I do have a quick present for you here. I compiled a list of a bunch of different signup bonuses. Some of them are related to crypto. Some of them are related to just finance in general. But these are some of the best ones where you're pretty likely to get free money and it doesn't take all that much effort. So in some of these cases, it's an easy 10 bucks of Bitcoin. In other cases, you could get up to like $1,800 in free stocks. And I compiled a list of those. Uh, some of these are my affiliate links. Some of them are not my affiliate links. They're just really good offers. And you can check that out down in the description below. Hope you enjoyed the video. Check out my other videos right here. I made them just for you. Go ahead, gently tap that like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and I will see you next time.